Hi, welcome to Draw Plans. I'm Tom Norris, and today we're going to look at bay windows. I recall when I first started using CAD, I used to have tremendous difficulty with bay windows because I didn't really know the angles and I didn't know how to join stuff together. I didn't know how to put the lines together. So I thought I'd just do a little short tutorial based on bay windows. And to help me, what I've done here is I've dragged in uh, some of our drawings and added on a box at the front so we can replicate the bays on these windows. Uh, but let me show you how I would set it up. So let's assume, uh, let's assume, well, I, I, I don't want to kill it off, so we're going to replicate it. So let me just draw a few more lines and I'll show you how I quickly do that. And as I say, it, this is, it's, it's, it's easy when you get shown, <laughs> but uh, if, you, if you haven't done it before and you've given bay windows, let's assume that's about right. And we're going to draw a few lines here. Let's just, I'm not measuring anything. I'm just giving you the idea. So we clean this up. We can use the meet two line tools to speed up the process. And so now we've got the, the front wall, but we've got to stick a bay on it. So uh, this is the point that's important, this one here. Uh, so now we're going to draw we could actually copy and paste, but we're obviously assuming that um, we're drawing from scratch here. So we're going to do a line and take off the auto. And, you know, you, you'll have photographs and you'll have, uh, you may well have measured something, but we don't generally use an angle finder. So it's an approximate idea for the design. So I'm kind of comfortable with that. So I'll just drop it. And to get the other side now, what I would do is just make a copy. And for that, I'd make a mirror copy. And I would choose this side. And there you go. Drag it over. I'll use the D. And... Yeah. Uh, now I've got my bay. So, to get the outside wall, um, I would then use the parallel lines, parallel tool. So let's assume the walls are 300. I'll go tab minus 300 because I'm going, I'm going south as they say. Oops, try that again. Tab minus 300, hit return next time. Tab minus 300, tab minus 300. So this is where I used to struggle with the lines. I mean, like, uh, because I'd be trying to drag the line and then it would twist out of shape. But the tool that you want to be using is this one. It's called Line Lent. And I can show you how to make sure you have that on your right click button uh, later on. So there you go. Just stretch the lines over. And then again to stretch them back um, that's how it works and that's how you that's how you do it because before I used to be trying to do it manually and I'd be stretching and everything would be out of alignment and uh, that was a bloody nightmare. Uh, so I used to, uh, you know, you know how it is. You, you get to dislike doing certain things and you kind of put it off. And generally uh, it's because uh, you don't know how to do it. So thing is, learn how to do it. And then it becomes fun to do. It's like anything else. Um, it just becomes fun. Right, so we're nearly done here. I'm not going to bother inserting the windows here because that wasn't the aim of the tutorial. The aim of the tutorial was to how you can draw these shapes uh, very easy and making sure they're all accurate, etc. Accurate in the sense that they all look correct. So on this one, little bay again. So we start again. We get to, we draw the box. We have the wall going across. Find these points. Uh, on the plans, uh, depending on my setup with snaps, 
um, I will sometimes have to overdraw. I'm too lazy to be changing snaps now around. So I'm just doing this manually. Uh, and don't be worried if they don't match up like this now. It's not quite accurate. Don't worry. You'll, 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 see, you'll see why in a minute. Uh, maybe that one I can do. With, but, uh, right, so we've got these two points here where the angles start. So now all I do is grab the line tool, turn off auto, and draw a line. So let's assume that's the line. Fine, done. Uh, drop it, and then what I want to do is make a copy. So I use the mirror copy, and done. Then I use, here we go, change the selection point on the drawing by clicking D. And I'm done. Now grab the line tool again. This one, but on auto. Um, you can do this as rough as you want. Use the parallel tool after that. Tab minus 300. Tab minus 300. Tab minus 300. So that's your walls in, but obviously they're not long enough or too long. So, um, Depending on, because you may be set up differently to me, so you might have different tools on your right click. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my right click tools and show you how to add the things you need. Uh, it's pop-up toolbars, so here we go. Uh, I only had two on there. So now if I click my right click, uh, not necessarily getting what I want. Hold on, I'm gonna do this again. Uh, pop up toolbars. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting uh, because something is occurring here that um, I'm getting the tools that I normally use on here, even though I've got nothing selected. That's kind of uh, weird. Uh, so we'll try one more time. It's the pop-up toolbar. Not this one, pop-up toolbar. I've taken off everything. Uh, close. I'm still getting these. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is modify. That'll help you to, because I, I think it's because I've got something else chosen to so that I've, I've made sure that in my TurboCAD the same tools come up each time uh, basically starting off so what I'm going to do here on the pop-up toolbars is I'm going to select hatch and align so now when I have my right click button I'm getting something completely different which I don't don't need at all so now I'm going to show you how to install what you do need on your right click button and these are drawing tools basically for architectural services and they're essential guide so if I right click on the blank space pick up and pop up toolbars knock off these bits and then I go align and modify that's what I need and those are the tools you should really always have on your right click button. Uh, saves you going up there and of course to modify saves you going up here. Uh, so to use the drop down. Uh, so it's much quicker to ha have these things on the right click. Uh, so it's one of those things you set up. Now within the modify tool range, you've got the line length. And the line length tool is the one where you can extend the line without twisting it or taking it out of shape. I mean, we, for example, if you grab this line and you try to do anything with it, you take off auto. Uh, just, in fact, I'm holding parallel. So if I was to grab this line now, look, this is how I used to do it before, and I'd be trying to stretch it down to where I need it. 
and of course it would be out of alignment a little and just a little but enough to uh, enough to that you could probably notice if you have a keen eye and I didn't like it I knew I needed to learn how to do it properly so if I go like that and then undo and then I grab this line lent which is a beauty because now look it's dragging it's going uh, without going out of alignment so what you normally do is drag drag it over the line and then drag it back uh, drag it over the line over the line and then drag it back and you're making the connection there you go and you're perfect every time so the line lent tool oh is fantastic now this one looks wrong should have been on the inside i should have drawn these on the inside but it doesn't matter because what i'm what i'm showing you is the actual uh, line lent tool and how you can use it on the bays uh to get an excellent uh, you can use it even on the regular horizontal lines uh, let's just stretch this just to demonstrate the line even though I've mucked up the drawing okay uh, get rid of that get rid of that we've got a new bay here um, so line length is the one that helps you with the uh, crisscross and dragging the dragging the lines that are at and dra dragging the angled lines without getting them uh, out of out of shape so let's try one more square is very simple uh, that's well that's about as simple as you get so if I just turn on auto so we draw a square bay so uh, drag a line through it. parallel tools go in say tab 300 and assume the walls are close to 300 tab 3 yep doesn't want to know uh, sometimes a parallel tool doesn't work in TurboCAD it's usually because I've done something or I've clicked on something that I shouldn't have done tab uh, 3 there you go so now uh, to clean up use your me to line tools and start on the outside or start on the inside whichever way you want getting loads of messages today uh sunday morning that's what that's uh, it's a sunday morning and uh that's what happens right so now we're cleaning up here uh best way of doing this is let's see which tool uh it doesn't want to do it that's interesting uh, right, we're going to do it manually, and let's drag down. Yeah, sometimes it's actually not a bad idea doing things manually, just to, so you don't forget how to do them. So again, uh, I don't have to complete anything. Uh, because the aim is to show you how to draw the bays accurately and by that I mean to use the appropriate tools so you get the angles right so the angles you know when you're starting out in CAD the angles can be uh, troublesome so here it's easy um, because 90 degrees it's easy enough this was a weird bay this was a property in Kensington it was about five floors and the walls were huge at the bottom uh, I'm not quite sure which floor this is but let's see if we can replicate uh, the actual uh, part of the actual bay here this time we're using the inside markings and we're going to draw a draw an angle take off or two um, so we're going to go something like so and like I say, the process is that once you've drawn one line, don't 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 go drawing the other line and working out the angle. It's much quicker if you just do the, uh, the mirror copy. So we use the mirror copy tool, and there you go. Then we use the D 
selection we change to selection point on the element and pop it into there and we use the parallel tool uh, we'll assume tab minus 500 again it's not doing it um, so let's just do it manually uh, again yeah they don't look they don't look that good <laughs> but they're good enough for what we need uh, and then uh, put the auto back on draw a few lines across not using the parallel so this is how we would work our bay out so now again the meet two line tools is your best friend here and you've got it in theory yeah there that's what I was trying to do on the last one I uh, didn't want to know so meet two line tools should be able to do that uh, just like that one and I think the problem is that um, sometimes the lines aren't always the full length uh, or they're overlapping lines uh, I developed a habit uh, a while back for you know when I wanted to deselect that I would use the, the up, up here to get the arrow button to get this one not this one okay I would use it to get uh, the deselect tool whereas now I'm using spacebar and it's a much better deal um, right so last chance for here there you go let's see you got your bay um, you get your base shape and the angles match up and so on so again last one uh, make sure you got it so the, this is the important point this one here where the angle starts so we're just going to do the absolute basics here where the angle starts and we're going to build out from there so we're going to go so uh, so normally I will draw in the bay like so I'll draw the front wall say like so and tidy it up and obviously it would be measured not just random or the thickness of the walls would be measured everything would be measured um, so if I wanted to be a little bit more finicky now and I knew what these points were uh, then uh, I'd know my angles wouldn't I so let's go there Oh, there so now we want a line uh, bup, 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 bup. line tool turn off auto there you go mirror should we mirror copy again yeah let's mirror copy um, so I've turned off the tools on the left to force to remind me to use the space bar for deselecting, uh, I'm going to use this one. There you go. Deselecting. You see me heading up to the left again. And this time, change the selection point. in place and how are we doing here so now let's use our meet two line tools uh, don't need those right so we get this one and we get these angles out how are we going to do it? Let's try the parallel, see if it's working. Uh, tab minus 400, say. No, not working. Um, that's a shame. Um, I'm not going to, because I think it's to do with work planes, or I've managed to look up the work planes because I've dragged drawings in. They're on different work planes. So uh, we're good to go on this. Um, I can make a copy and do it that way but it won't be uh, a proper copy as in measured and so on but never mind that'll work 
that will work. So I remember in the corners just overdraw and then uh, you'll be fine. So really what I'm trying to show you and what the tutorial is completely uh, absolutely all about is uh, how to stretch the, the lines. Uh, it can go. How to stretch the lines on the uh, on, we're using the line how to stretch the angled lines to enable you to uh, get your base uh, easy. So it's pretty easy isn't it uh, when you know how but using these this one here the line length and using the meet two lines uh, from your right click that'll draw any bay obviously use the parallel and when you've got a nice clean drawing a nice clean model space the parallel tool should work properly uh, so uh, what else can I tell you yeah if you don't have these tools so remember it's up here right click and then go to the pop-up toolbars and delete whatever you have in there and then click on line and modify these are the two that will give you the correct uh, tool set within your right click button so you got your line tool and you got your line length and you've got your meet two lines okay that's brilliant um, hopefully you've uh, now have a much better idea how to make life easy for yourself when you're drawing um, bay windows and uh, we can do another tutorial at some point about putting the windows actually putting the installing the windows putting windows into the bay that, that's another day but for now uh, thank you very much for watching uh, like would be great a subscribe would be even better but either way uh, hopefully you got some value i'll see you on the next video thanks a bunch for watching Bye bye